Hello, in today's video, we're going to work together on the Azure monitoring that you can see here with the design and the Terraform code. So in this video, you will learn three things. The first one, how you can use this infrastructure directly from the template catalog, how you can set up your Brainboard account, and how you can make sure that this infrastructure respects your budget and is secure, and that you can provision it directly from the CI-CD directly on Brainboard. So let's get started. The first thing we are going to do is that we go to the template catalog and then here we look for Azure monitoring. So to use it, as always, is easy. You simply need to clone the template into a new architecture. So here, once you have done it, you have the design and the Terraform code as well as all of these Terraform files. Here, if you want to understand why and how we build this infrastructure, you simply need to go here to the readme and then you can read the description, the architecture components, the requirements and how to use the architecture. Then you can look at the main.tf with all of these resources. For example, if you want to look at specific resources, for example, application inside, then you simply need to select it in the Canva. Here, you look at the Terraform code. If you want to understand how we configure it, then you simply need to open the ID card. And here, you look at the required parameter, the advanced configuration, so you can configure it the way you want, and then the meta arguments of Terraform with the count that depends on and for each. So for example here, if we look at workspace ID, you look at this, the workspace ID, and that this Two resources, so the application insight and the log analytics workspace are connected together. For example, now, if you look at the log analytic workspace, again, you look at the Terraform code. Here, you open the ID card and you understand how we configure it. For example, here, you can see that we use a variable to configure and to define the region. So here, the variable, you simply need to go here to variables. On Brainboard, you can define variables either at the organization layer, project, environment, and architecture. Here, for example, for this architecture, we created 10 variables that you can see here. Let's see, for example, the DB admin, just an example. You look at the name. So here, you need to specify the name of the variable, the scope, here, architecture, the type, here, string, and then either value or default, and you can also add your own description. So here, this is the way you manage and create your own Terraform variables on Brainboard. Then here, what you can do as well, for example here, you look at the backend. So to set up your own remote backend is very easy. Simply need to go here to data, and then you can set up your remote backend either by using AWS S3, Azure Blob Storage, Terraform Cloud, and Breadbone Backend. So here, for example, one thing as well is that you can update, so you can modify this infrastructure by adding new resources. So one advice that I will give you is here you create a version, initial commit. Then you look at all the resources that you can use to add to this infrastructure. So, for example, let's say that you would like to add another storage account. To use it is very easy. Simply need to drag and drop it. As you can see, you don't need to write a single line of Terraform code. It's already been written for you. You have the required parameter, advanced configuration, and again, the meta arguments with the count depends on and for each. For example, here, let's say that you would like to add a name, let's say, default. Just an example. And then here, it's automatically updated for you. Now, what you can do is that you can define and create another version. So second version, commit. And then here, if you want to roll back to the previous version, you can do that here. Or if you want to go to the second version, you can do that here as well. So now let's go back to initial commit. Then as you can see now, we looked at the design, we look at all of these Terraform files. What we can do are two things. Either we want to do one action. So here we can either do Terraform validate, Terraform plan. 
You can also provision your infrastructure directly from Brandboard, and of course, you can also destroy directly from Brandboard. You can also do, for example, a pull request. So here, if you want to do a pull request, you simply need to set up your own Git tokens. So you can use Azure DevOps, Bitbucket, or GitLab. You can also use, for example, GitHub. Now, if you want to provision and do, for example, Terraform commands, you need to set up your own cloud credentials. So here, to set them up is very easy. You simply need to set and to complete all of these fields. And I can help you do that as well. So here, we go back to the design and then we go to the deployment. Here, you can either use, for example, public templates, like for example, this one, or you can build your own template, your own workflow on Brainboard. So here, let's say security and cost. You can also add the description of the workflow, then you can create. Then here, for example, the first task that we're going to do is Terraform plan. So here, Terraform plan. Then now what you need to do, for example, is TSSEC. So here is security analysis. So here TFSEC will actually scan your Terraform code to detect any potential vulnerabilities. So here, seven clause. Then now we want to look at the costs of this infrastructure. Here is cost estimation. The API key is this one. So for InfraCost, we're using the open source. So here you can create your own account directly on InfraCost and then you can use it directly on Brainboard. So here we are good. You can also, for example, require approval and ignore failure. So here we just need to save it. Then let's say that we want to either send an email to one of our team members or send a Slack notification. Here, for example, it could be um, cloud ops. Here, you need to write the email address and then please check the security and cost of this infrastructure. So here, you save. What you can do as well here is that you can add another task. So here, for example, you can do apply. So here, provision infrastructure here require approval just an example i will use this email address and then if you want you can also do for example a drift here what you need to do is that you can also schedule so it will be automated check either for the cost for the security automated check here you can add the description and you can notify on failure. So here we do it. So as you can see, it's very easy to build and to design your own CI/CD or work for, on Brainboard. You have done Terraform plan, security analysis, cost estimation, here email, because here Brainboard is a collaborative solution. So here you can invite all your team members to join your organization on Brainboard. Then here you go back to your workflow and then, once you have done, you check that everything is set up correctly. And then, you simply need to run the pipeline. Here, you will see all the status of these different tasks. Like, for example, here you see that it's running, but the other one are pending. And here, you have the output of the Terraform plan. So we wait a little bit. So here you can see that the output is that we have 16 resources to add, zero to change, zero to destroy. Here is secure, no problem detected. Here we will look at the cost of this infrastructure to see if we respect the budget.
As you can see here, we have the overall total cost is $126. And here you have the breakdown with the name, the monthly quantity you need and the monthly cost as well. Now, the email has been sent. So one of our team members will go to Brandboard and check both the security and the cost. And then we simply need here To provision the infrastructure directly from Brainboard, and here we do it manually. So here, as you can see, we have the status is running, the ID, the pipeline, the name of the workflow, and the initiator. Now, what we can do is that here we can also use, for example, the drip detection. So here we use it directly from the template. Then we can set up here this drip detection with the cron expression so here for example on a daily basis at 10 a.m the drip detection will apply and here you can modify it as well so now like that you have the security and cost you can of course convert it into your own workflow to be able to reuse it afterwards and then we have the drip detection here for all the workflows, you simply need to go here to the template and then you will be able to find all the workflows that you have created into templates. So here on Brainboard, what we saw is that you can use the template catalog directly out of the shelves. You can look at the readme here to understand how and why we build this infrastructure. You can look at all the Terraform files and then you can also build your own CI/CD workflow on Brainboard, for example, here for security and cost, and here for drift detection. So I hope this video has been useful for you. And as always, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ping me and I will be happy to help you build your own use case and your own infrastructures on Brainboard. Have a great day.